Uh, it's probably just because it's lying flat. You can see how it's like a stretched out a little bit there. Oh, there. that's it's not true. Yeah. 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 Like I love the bombs. They look, and they were done like in groups of four, so that's why they're so even. Five. Oops, I'm upside down. Yep. Let's see in some better days. Mm. But you're right about this. This print is for sure. Yeah, that's the eighth the Air same. Force symbol on it. Uh huh. Nice. Mm. A lot of them did that one, um, and you can see it did have a tail number. It's just probably come or a uh, tail sign. Tail sign. Yeah. yeah. It's just come off since then. Mm. So. I don't think that's actually exposed leather there. I think somebody painted on like some kind of a. I don't know. Because I, I don't know. Doesn't it kind of look like it's way too isolated to this area so, to do the leather itself? I'm kind of wondering. You know, and this is like a really weird theory. Uh -huh. But it almost looks like someone scraped this area up uh -oh. to put the paint over because it like settles in better. That actually makes sense. Because those buckles are really to it too compared to this nice well because two yeah when they got it they would have still been in pretty decent shape they would have had their proper oils it'd be harder to get things to stay on yeah. so maybe somebody really knew what they were doing but I, that's an interesting yeah. i yeah well even the uh, gear is pretty stylized yeah that, uh, like a kind of DNC, a, uh, medieval book almost yeah that's what i was thinking like Sir Gawain, the Green Knight. One, two, two. There's some stuff in here that we need to take out. Okay, hold on just a sec. Okay, it's like a clown handkerchief. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Coming. Okay, there we go. Oh, nice. There's the insignia. And this is a separate patch, which is relatively unusual for our group. Mm -hmm. Most of them had their patches painted directly on. So... This is going to sound funny. That mm -hmm. face reminds me of the Cowardly Lion from the uh, Wizard of Oz movie. <laughs> and I'm just kind of curious to see. Ooh, the snaps are in really good shape. Oh, yeah, there's still a little bit of a tarnishing, but not as much as they with the other ones. No, the they're not disintegrating, because once that happens, it's just... Like acid eating away. Flexible. See some wear in here, yeah. but it's not too bad. Zipper also looks really good. Yeah. Right in here, we can see that. Yeah. See, this is starting to corrode. Mm -hmm. You can see the green that's forming a patina on it. There's this brownish stuff right there. What do you think? Oils from the human? Probably. My my the thought would be, I what was this guy's position? Uh, would he have worn a mic? I don't remember. Well, they all would have worn mic with lines to stay in touch. True. But it depends on the silk uh, scarf, all right? Well, actually, this is really, I didn't even notice this. Thank you. This isn't silk. This isn't yeah. even rayon. So this would have been later in the war then. A later made jacket because the silk was used exclusively at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You can oh, see. Oh, he's got his name imprinted on the... Oh, yeah, Everything that. tucked in there. Everything yeah, in normally we we don't see this stuff so nicely done. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can pull up this yep. Type A2. Yeah. Size 42. 